Hey Glim Squad, what's up? This is your girl Dalu. In this video, I am giving you a guest bathroom decorating mat. It is a compilation of all the videos that I uploaded on the channel for my guest bathroom. However, this marathon is a little bit different than the other marathons that I uploaded on the channel because you are going to have a little bit of cleaning, some DIYs, some fantastic towel folding techniques and displaying techniques. In addition, you are going to see all the makeovers that I have done in this bathroom. By the time you're done watching this marathon, you'll find all the tips and tricks that you are going to need for your guest bathroom. Before we get to the marathon, I'm going to take a minute to share with you guys. Today's video is sponsored by Ye Soul. I was so excited when they reached out to me to send me their indoor exercise smart bike. It is the G1S Plus indoor smart bike. So far, I am enjoying it. This bike is a great alternative to the Peloton for only $3.99. It has a super large screen, 24 inches. This way, while you're working out, you can enjoy your favorite show on Netflix, Hulu, Spotify, YouTube, and many more. The screen is adjustable, which is pretty cool. This way you are guaranteed to have fun while working out. I have to be honest, the cushion on the seat is not comfortable, but the height of the seat is adjustable to ensure perfect position while working out. Also, the position of the bike handle is also adjustable. As a bonus, it came with two cute dumbbells to ensure an intense workout. There is a stat for my water bottle. To have the best workout experience, you can download the app by scanning the QR code. The app is compatible with popular exercise apps such as Peloton and the iFit. On the app, you will find some really cool and fun workout program and beginner friendly classes. I am truly, truly enjoying the bike and my entire family is enjoying it. You know what they said, the best summer body is made during the winter time. So my friends, do not wait, quickly go get your bike and let me know how you like it. To make it easier for you guys to get the bike, I have a very special coupon for you. Use my name, Dalu, to save $100. That is a very, very nice savings, you guys. You're not gonna find it anywhere else. Please take advantage of it. Link for the coupon code will be in the description box, including the link for the bike. And also remember, when you receive your bike, it's gonna come in several pieces. You're gonna have to put it together just like when you purchase anything else online. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know if you are interested on the bike. As for me, I like it. I think it is a great investment for my health. I believe it could be a great investment for your health as well. Thanks to you so for donating me this wonderful product. Once again, link for it will be in the description box. All right, now let's get started with our bathroom marathon. Hey Glam Squad, what's up? This is Dalu. So, what had happened was, I tried to spray paint my faucets in gold. Does that ever happen to you? You watch a DIY video on YouTube. It seems super easy. You try to duplicate it. It turned out a disaster. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. I wanted to show it to you guys for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you decide to spray paint your faucet, you really need to think it through because it can ruin the faucet completely. Number two, make sure you protect your countertop with a plastic cover, not the paper ones, because the paint will get through it. The thing is, I bought a faucet from Amazon a little while ago so I could change it, but I could never find anyone to come over to change it for me. So finally, somebody came earlier today and changed the faucet for us. I am super excited. Next, we are going to DIY the countertop. I would love it if you stick around for the reveal. For the DIY on the countertop, I'm gonna be using this beautiful contact paper from Amazon. Super cheap, $11 for 15 by 80 inches. I'm gonna be using two of them. 
Of course, my husband is going to be doing it because as I mentioned in the past, contact paper requires a lot of patience. So my husband is perfect for the job. As you can see, he had cut the hole to accommodate the sink. As you can see, he left extra paper on the butter to make it easier for the install and later on he's going to cut it. No sé que tú ves en mí, mi amor Ya no dejes de mirarme Que ya me gusta quien soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que habló en mis canciones Esas madrugadas que the quality of the paper is really good. There was not a lot of bubble forming. There was no need to use a credit card or a mutual card as we had used in the past. However, if you're going to duplicate this project, try to uninstall your faucet. It was a challenge getting the contact paper around the faucet. We got it done. You're gonna see that later in the video, but it's gonna be much more easier if you have your faucet removed. As for us, we couldn't do that because we tried, we had failed miserably. Now it is time to welcome all of my new friends to the Glam Squad family. I upload Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. Please become part of the family by hitting your subscribe button and turning your notification bell so you can get notified once I upload a new video. And to my returning Glam Squad, I am so grateful you have decided to follow me in my journey of creating my beautiful Glam and Happy Home. As you can see, the contact paper has the lines on the back which makes it easier to cut. If you make a mistake, just lift it up and do it again. To fold the paper under the rim of the sink, it had to make some incision. The paper is not flexible enough, otherwise it would rip. Which was the biggest drawback working with this paper. Otherwise, it is much better than some of the papers that I work with in the past. Yeah, 
show a car. Yeah, back on the Sabana. Me gusta que te dejes llevar. No quiero más que pasar. No, no, no. Que nos llevamos muy bien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once he was done, he sealed it with the clay silicone from Home Depot. Remove the excess silicone and we are done. Let's see what it looked like before. And now look at it. Okay, you guys, I have to give it up to my husband. He did a fantastic job on the DIY. I am so thankful for all the work he has done for me today. Now let's talk about the faucet. Oh my God, I love it. I love, love it. It is so pretty. It's a nice upgrade to the place. It is from Amazon. It's not expensive at all. Only $60 per faucet. When I went to the Lowe's and the Home Depot stores, I could not find anything that would satisfy me for less than $80. So I'm so happy I got this faucet. On lukewarm water, it's blue. It turns green once the water gets warmer. And red once the water is hot. I'm gonna turn off the light so you guys can see what it looks like at night. I am super happy with the look and the technology. Links for the faucet and the contact paper will be in the description box. Glam Squad, which one is your favorite? The contact paper or the faucet? Please don't leave without hitting your subscribe button and turning your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. I thank you for spending your time with me today. I love you. Bye-bye. Hey Glam Squad, what's up? I hope all is well with you. Today we're going to be finishing the makeover in my guest bathroom. Let me show you what we have done so far. I DIY the countertop using this beautiful contact paper from Amazon. I added new faucets. They are from Amazon as well. They change color depending on the temperature of the water, which is fantastic. I love the technology on them. Today's video is the big reveal. We're gonna be doing so much. We're gonna be adding new doorknobs, hanging new curtains, changing hardware. It is gonna be a jam pack video. I would love it if you stick on for the reveal. We are starting with the doorknobs. They are not that bad, but I just want something more modern. I did not wanna make a new hole on the cabinet door, so I'm gonna use the one hole that I already have and then glue the handle with E6000 glue at the bottom. The E6000 glue will hold it securely. Next, we're going to be changing the outlet covers.
guys, I'm just saying they really make a big difference in the place. Next, I'm adding new toilet paper holder. You know, I like those with the shelves to put the phone while I'm in there. But today, I'm gonna put a different thing on the shelf. Stay tuned for that. This is a towel bar that I'm going to install. All the installs in this video are from Amazon. Links will be in the description box for all of them, including any other items that were purchased online. Okay, let's move on to the shower. This is my plastic shower curtain. We need 14 shower hooks since we're gonna be using two shower curtains. The install is done for the regular shower curtains. As always, we're gonna go back with a pair of regular curtains to create that grand look in the bathroom. They are 98 inches versus the regular 108 that I normally use. They are very close to touching the floor. I have two holes from the previous towel bar. This one does not bother me much because I'm, it's gonna be covered with the towels, but the other one does. I use a coaster to cover it up. I know it's not the best solution, but that will do for now. I'm adding this container with cotton swab, Q-tips, and cotton balls. When doing a guest bathroom, you really need to think about what would a guest need or what do they ask you for the most when they visit your house and add them to the bathroom. In here, I have extra hand soap. On the countertop, I'm gonna be doing a little DIY using these six Dollar Tree mirrors. I just want to show you how I made the bouquet. As always, I don't like to cut my stems. I just fold them in. The flowers are super pretty like that. They are giving me the spring vibe, but it's winter. I'm just going to glam them up a bit. Just my preference. With these glam branches.
when editing the video that's when i realized that i don't have any soap in the containers i will do that later since i'm not gonna have guests anytime soon anyway these shelves were in my son's womb they were not being used so i brought them in here hang them on with common strips they had fell down and one of them is broken i'm gonna use them for now until i get new ones i guess i'm really testing that common strip thing on the shelves i'm gonna add some decorative items mixed with some useful items for my guests talking about guests let me take this moment to welcome all of you who are new to my channel i upload glam home decor and diy videos Please hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can get notified once I upload a new video. And to my returning Glim Squad, thank you so much for all of your love and support. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Glim Style with Dalu. And if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up and please share it with someone who you think might be interested. I'm gonna be using these glam bags to put some feminine wipes. To complete the look, I'm going to be adding some white wogs and we are done. As a reminder, this is what the bathroom looked like. And now the transformation. Most of the items that you see in this video were either featured in a recent haul or in a previous video but I do understand I do have a few new items and I have some new friends in the channel. I plan on going over everything after I release the master bathroom video but in the meanwhile if you are interested in anything just put a comment below I will answer. As always Everything that I purchase online, links will be in the description box. Also, please tap up yes if you are interested in that video. I will also give an update on the countertop.
Glim Squad, what do you think about my new bathroom? Do you have a favorite item or favorite area? Please leave a comment below. Link for the countertop video will be in the description box. I will see you in the next video. Make sure you hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. Thanks for spending some time with me today. I will see you in the next one. I love you always. Bye-bye. squad what's up this is your girl dalu in today's video i'm gonna be cleaning my guest bathroom everyone has been using it because my bathroom and the kids bathroom have been having some problem on the other hand i'm glad i've been using it because i really wanted to give you guys a good review on how the contact paper is doing at least this would give me the opportunity to give you guys a good review also i have tons of questions in many of the things in this bathroom so i'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you guys where everything came from please stick around till the end back to the cleaning i'm gonna put the work in the washer while i'm cleaning the rest of the bathroom Sin que me juzguen con mis amigas cantando rolas Que me aprecien pero no tanto quiero estar sola Estar soltera, no disponible y siendo moda Yo te quiero pero déjame I love to do clean with me videos for you guys because I want to show you guys my house is not all glam and perfect all the time. Many of you ask me how do I do it with the kids? Well now you know it's not glam all the time. But the best thing to do is to have a schedule. But sometimes life gets hectic, I can't keep up with the schedule. Spending time with my family may become a priority over cleaning. Esa falda era muy fea Porque sus celos nunca dejaron que fuera bella Me controlaba todas las noches, noches en vela Con sus peleas, con mi persona y la botella Yo te quiero pero de... If you are here for the first time, welcome to the Glam Squad family we are all about creating beautiful, glam, and happy homes. Please take this moment to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as I upload. And to you, my returning Glam Squad, thank you so much for all of your love and support. Please follow me on Instagram at Glam Style with Dalu. When cleaning, always remember to lift up the window to clean that area. There's always so much dust there, no matter how often it's being cleaned. This done power wash you guys gets everything so white. I love using it on the toilet and on the top. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
sin que me juzguen con mis amigas cantando rolas que me aprecien pero no tanto quiero estar sola está soltera no disponible y siendo moda yo te quiero pero déjame no me amas eso se te ve y si sigues pues agárrate que esta chica no la voy Using these wipes on anything that's stainless steel and brass, it leaves everything so shiny. I sprayed the Donian Stuffer Bowl on all fabrics and flowers for a fresh scent. I pour a bit of Fabuloso and leave it there to keep the brush smelling good. Because I added this new bouquet, I've decided to move things around. what the bathroom looks like after all of the hot cleaning that I have done. I'm so happy the bathroom has returned to its original state. I'm so excited. Nothing make you feel better than a clean bathroom. So I'm quickly gonna go over everything. I'm gonna start with the contact paper. The contact paper is from Amazon and it is beautiful as you can see still holding up really nicely it's been a little bit over a month since i installed it it looks really nice however I, I would not recommend this diy for a bathroom that's going to get used every single day like this is lifting up a little bit the glue is not holding up too good with the water but otherwise it is super pretty and it was less than 20 dollars the faucets are from Amazon, super nice faucets. And the floors, they are from Hobby Lobby. Vase is from Home Goods. The soap and the lotion containers are from Amazon. I love the gold and the clear. I think it is super pretty. The Kindle is from Big Lads. Smells really good for $6. The tray is a DIY. The mirrors are from the dollar store. The mirrors are from TJ Maxx. The tray and the towels are from Home Goods. The things inside the tray on top of the toilet are from Home Goods. But the tray is from Amazon, two for $25. And over here, the bags that I have wipes in there, it is from Home Goods. And the toilet paper holder, as you can see, it can hold up up to two. It is from Amazon, Spray Amazon, Garbage, Home Goods, Toilet Cleaner, Amazon. Okay. And over here, the things are from Home Goods and Macy's Backstage. Flam Ball is from Burlington. The little shelves are from Amazon. And you guys, 
and the curtains of course they are from home goods i know you guys are in love with them they came in a pack of four for 25 dollars the Lolo tie back is from Hobby Lobby. It is not a tie back, but I just use it as a tie back. The shower curtains are from Burlington. The regular curtains and the curtain hooks are from Home Goods. But I will leave a link for similar curtains from Amazon. The work is from Home Goods. The handles are from Amazon. The outlet covers are from Amazon as well. You guys love this wall art as well. It is from Home Goods. I think I paid $40 for it. The towels are from Burlington and the tie bags are from Amazon. Towel bar, Amazon as well. The light fixture is from Lowe's and the table in the corner is from Macy's Backstage. I will leave the link for everything that I purchased from Amazon in the description box. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give it a big, big thumbs up and share it with all of your friends and your family. Please do not leave without hitting your subscribe button and turning your notification bell so you can get notified once I upload a new video. I thank you for spending your time with me today and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I love you always. Bye-bye. squad what's up this is your girl Dalu in this video I am doing a decor update in my guest bathroom I hope you are doing well and your family is doing fantastic as for me and my family we are doing great as always when I'm decorating my guest bathroom I always think about some of the things my guests always ask me and things that they wouldn't think they would need so it's all about giving them that hotel spa experience. In addition to the display towels that I have on the bar, I'm rolling some extra towel to make disposable for my guests. I bought these storage bins from Amazon. I'm going to be using them to store the towels. They are very nice. They came with the labels and the pen. These baskets are also super cute. I purchased them from Amazon as well. In there, I'm gonna store some necessities. These baskets are also super cute. I purchased them from Amazon as well. In there, I'm gonna store some necessities. I added this wrap from the last time you guys saw the bathroom. I got it from TJ Maxx. I have a love and hate relationship with it. One minute I like it, one minute I don't. What do you guys think? On the shelf, I'm gonna have a combination of decorative products and necessity products. I'm gonna let you guys finish enjoying watching me decorating the bathroom while listening to the music. If you have any questions in regards to any products, please leave them down in the comment section. The hardware, the curtains, and the work that are in the bathroom are from Amazon. Of course, I'm gonna leave the link for them in the description box.
If you are here for the first time, welcome to the Glam Squad family. If you missed it, my name is Dalu. I share Glam Home Decor and DIY videos. If you are into these things, please hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so they can let you know as soon as I upload a new video. And to all of you, my fellow Glam Squad, thanks so much for stopping by today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend, a family member, and on your social media pages. If you have not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for, please do so right now. And remember to turn on your notification bell so they can let you know once I upload a new video. A big, big thank you to all of you for stopping by today. I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. I love you always. Bye-bye. Clip squad what's up this is your girl Dalu I hope you guys are doing fantastic in this video I am going to update my guest bathroom decor it is the holiday season guests may stop by at any time so I want to make sure this bathroom match the rest of the house I do not like to do a full holiday decor in my bathroom but I may add a little something something but see you see guys how is the decorating going for you guys while ago I don't remember where I got them from and these ones are from Amazon love 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 them they always take my bathroom to the next level the two of them together gorgeous my towels are from TJ Maxx in Burlington I thought this towel was a great one to welcome my guests to the bathroom.
You're gonna see it. It looks really nice. It looks like a hotel or spa. I've done this folding and display technique before on the channel, but I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna use my bed because I need a flat surface. The towel that I'm using does have a design on it, but it doesn't matter because the design won't show. I'm gonna lay it down flat on the bed with the design facing up. If you are using a towel that do not have any design, it won't matter. And then I am going to fold it into it. I'm gonna lay it flat on the bed with the design facing down and then I'm gonna fold the borders and that's it now let's go to the bathroom I have the towel go under the bar And then I'm gonna have the hand towel go on top of it. I'm holding the big towel, the bath towel with one hand to make sure that it does not unravel. There it is, it's looking really good, but as you can see, they are not level up. So I'm gonna go back and make sure that they are at the same level. That's really important. There it is, looking very nice, very hotel-like. It looks like that I use more than two towels. It is not a difficult fold, a great way to impress your guests. On the shelf is where I normally display some of the necessities for my guests. Things like cotton swab, Q-tips, a little bit of salt, and little things here and there. On the shelf, I'm adding a little bit of the holiday decor. I added one of my crystal trees. On top of the toilet, as always, I have a tray. I'm gonna have a small vase to hold the branch. I'm also going to have a store. I folded some hand towels very nicely. I'm going to display them on the tray. My guests will definitely impress. In this corner, I'm going to have a small sign. All of the Christmas decorations that I have in here, if it's not around Christmas time or you do not celebrate Christmas, you don't have to put them, you can just remove them. And I'm going to display the towels in front of it. Let me show you how I fold them. Once again, I am using a flat surface. I fold them in three. And then I do a 70% fold like that you see next I take this head I'm going to fold it and then tuck it in I'm making sure everything goes in properly and it is pretty smooth and this is the final look On the vanity, I have a beautiful crystal and mirror tray from HomeSense and my beautiful glam gold vase from HomeGoods. Inside of it, I have a beautiful, gorgeous bouquet made by moi. I have branches from Burlington, Happy Lobby, and Z Gallery. Although it has a lot of glam, but it is an all year around bouquet, you can have it any time of the year. Then I'm gonna add one of the storage containers with cotton swab, actually cotton pads, and a small beautiful candle also from Home Goods. These are the soap and lotion dispensers I am going to use. I think they are from Tuesday morning.
for my wog, I'm using this sheepskin wog from Home Goods by Nicole Miller. Very luxurious and comfy. My guests will definitely love it. Guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about my guest bathroom decor. Be sure to show me some love by giving me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so right now. Turn on your notification bell so they can let you know once I upload a new video. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. I love you always. Bye-bye. Hey, Glim Squad, what's up? This is your girl, Dalu. How you guys doing? As for me, I am doing great. In this video, you guys, I am going to be refreshing my guest bathroom. Many of the accessories that I'm going to be using are from Timu. only one bath towel this way it's a good way to display the towel it makes it look like you are using more than one towel I wanted to add a little bit of more Zam Zam Zoom on the towel bar so I went back with some white hand towels and I'm gonna show you guys sometimes the item that you're using doesn't have to be perfect like for example this towel has a gray border it doesn't matter because I'm gonna display it for for look so I folded in inside so the gray is not showing and it looks like it is a plain white towel so basically you just have to work with what you have be creative and make it work I'm gonna take this moment to welcome all of you who are new to my channel. I upload Glam Home Decor, Cleaning DIY, a little bit of lifestyle video. If you're interested in any of these things, please hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so they can let you know once I upload a new video. And a big thank you to all of you, my fellow Glam Squad, for stopping by today. So this is toilet paper holder that I got from Timo. It came with the little hardware thing to hook it up. I'm gonna use them to put some necessities for my guests. The shelves are not thick, so I have to be careful to make sure I do not put things that are too heavy. Something like that with the salt, I wouldn't be able to put it because it would be a little bit too heavy for the shelves. I'm going to up in for something that is a little bit lighter like these washcloths. Anyway, I needed to have some of them available for my guests, so it is working out perfectly. I'm gonna have a beautiful base, something that is not breakable easily with these beautiful branches. Of course, these are available on my website. I thought the combination of colors were very nice, the gray, the yellow slash gold, and the blue. It's very beautiful. I think it adds a very nice pop of color in my bathroom. On the vanity, I'm going to start with this super duper cute, stylish, unique tray, of course, for my store. And then I'm going to have one of my latest vase. Such a beautiful vase. Love it. It is so dramatic. It brings so much glam and beauty to any place, of course, including the bathroom. And inside of it will be my white eucalyptus branches you guys love them i love them as well they are so beautiful so glam and so unique 
brand shoes a bestseller not only on floor but throughout the entire website i'm showing you how i'm folding one stem to make it work because i am using only three now i'm gonna be honest because this vase the is a little bit larger than my other vase from the last time i showed you guys these eucalyptus branches i had to be a little bit creative to make sure they still look full by folding one of them and put it one at the bottom and i also kind of push it toward the front all of these things are what makes it look full and beautiful so depending on the vase you can only use two branches but for this one we definitely needed three branches and as you can see it is looking fabulous to have some scent, I'm going to be using this beautiful diffuser. Also, you can find it on my website. But look at the box, you guys. The presentation is going to make a beautiful gift for yourself or for somebody who's getting married for graduation or a birthday gift. Really, really beautiful. Love it. Do you see how cute it is, guys? It is so cute. The fragrance smells really, really good. Definitely a fancy smell. Also, I am going to take a little bit of the fragrance and put it inside the, the toilet paper on the cotton. While I'm waiting for the diffuser to take off, the bathroom will start smelling good right away. For my lotion and soap dispenser, I'm gonna be using this one. Of course, they are from my website love them they are so cute so pretty unique and great quality i'm gonna be using these decorative bags to hold my wipes keeping everything neat and classy the bags came in a set of two this is the smallest one of course available on my website I went back and added my other set of curtains. Guys, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about my bathroom refresh. As for me, I love it. I thought it was very pretty. I love the touch of blue. What do you guys think about the blue? I hope you guys are enjoying this Martin so far. I'm going to be taking you guys to the last video, which was the very first guest bathroom video that I uploaded on the channel. I thought it would be fun to include it in this Martin. I purposely put it at the end because i don't think the recording was great when i uploaded this video i just started my youtube channel i hope you will find some inspiration from it alexa play some haitian compa playing haitian music on amazon music yeah yeah uh uh ac freezing it up what uh yeah. Hey Glim Squad, what's up? This is your girl Dalu. Today I am going to give you a tour of my guest's bathroom. If you are interested in seeing it, please keep watching. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the Glim Squad family. Here we are all about creating beautiful, glam and happy homes. Please take this opportunity to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything as soon as we upload and if you liked this video please 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 give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends okay guys let's get started
Glim Squad, I would like to share with you a lot of the things that you're going to be seeing in this video are repurposed items. I like to shop my home first before I go to the store to shop for new items. It brings me a lot of pleasure when I look at a womb that looks way new but I did not spend a lot of money or any money at all. If you have not done it, I definitely encourage you to give it a try. I would like to say a big thank you to those of you who have subscribed. We have reached 2,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much. I love you all. So let me show you guys what's in there. Okay, I have this towel set that I bought from Macy's backstage. I like them. They complement the bathroom perfectly. They have the blue and the off-white. I bought them a few years ago, maybe three and a half years ago when I just moved in. And over here on the wall, on top of the towels, I have this wall art that I bought. I think I bought it from Home Depot. <laughs> Pay $20 for it. You never know where you're going to get your beautiful home decor. It is a really, really good one. shower curtains they are not typical shower curtains they are regular curtains that I had initially in my living room and now I'm using them for the shower curtains because regular shower curtains are not that tall and I wanted them to go all the way up to the ceiling I think any curtain that goes all the way up to the ceiling makes a house look very elegant they have a little bit of glitz what I normally do I just put a, a plastic curtain inside of them just like you would do for the other regular shower curtain. Okay, so by the window, I have this flower with this big vase that I got from Home Goods. The blue flowers are from Michaels. I just got them right before the quarantine. That was the last thing I got at a store. They were perfect for the room. This balance is from Walmart. This one here is from Burlington. I got two of them. They were $16.99 each. I'm only using one here. This wall art is from Macy's Backstage. Okay, over here on the vanity, I have a conditioner, small conditioner. I like to put these as display for my guests and they are pretty, they make the area look a bit nicer and make it look like a hotel. Okay, this is a shampoo and of course a little perfume for her. Okay, and this is my soap. Okay, and this little tray plate is also from Home Goods. And on the other side, I have the lotion here, a little spray for him as well. And he also is a body wash and, and a hand lotion. situation going on here I have my q-tips and over here I have this glass with this little tea light inside of it 
to hide the wire for the Alexa. I could not come up with anything else that's the best I could come up with. If you have a better idea, please drop it in the comment below. Okay, and I have it on both sides. A little candle here on both sides as well, just for since these little coasters they are from Home Goods. And here on that big jar, I have soap. And they're very small. In the image, they look big. But let me show you. I got them from Amazon. I will leave a link for you guys just in case if, if you want it. They're very small. What I had earlier, and I took it off before, right before I shoot the video, I did have one tail in the back like that. My husband really like it. Tell me, guys, which one do you like? With the towel or without the towel? Let me show you. Without the towel towel or should I place the towel up front like this oh I think I like this one just like that I think it's really it's cute like that did not look like that I put a little bit of glam let me show you guys how it looked like initially and let me show you guys what I did it's super duper easy it took only like a couple of minutes this is how it looks like initially I got it from Macy's backstage and I took my glam wrap from Amazon and I just put a little bit of wrap on it using my glue gun ignore my nails I was Spray painting something, you know I'm always up to something. As I mentioned, super duper easy DIY. It took only a couple of minutes to add that little glam to the tray. I'm so glad I did it. Do you guys see how cute it looks? The jar holding the flowers is from Home Goods. I have my VIP pool, you know I like this one. My potpourri, I like it. You can find this spray on Amazon. The link for both the wrap and the spray will be in the description box. I also have one of those little scented packets. Over here, I did have a toilet paper holder, but it's broken, I threw it away. This is a garbage can that I am using. It's from Home Goods. Mm -hmm. The mirrors, I got them when I moved to this place. They are from, where are they from? They are from TJ Maxx. And they were $35 each day for this price. The lighting fixture is from Lowe's. Oh, I have to show you guys the walk. Okay, this is the walk. I just like this walk because when I look at it when I'm passing by, I just like the way it look in my eyes. So I just keep this little round walk for now. But these are the walks that I use when I have a guest that's gonna stay for a long time, maybe like for a couple of days. I use this one instead. And here I keep extra supplies for the guests. And that's the final look of the bathroom. This video concludes my guest bathroom decorating ideas, Martin. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And please turn on your notification bell so you can get notified once I upload a new video. I thank you for your time today. I can wait to see you next time. I love you. Mm -hmm. Bye.